Alrighty, everybody, I, I thought I was going to make a recap. Instead, we got some big time news today. So, let's break it all down. Let's start about, let's talk about week two first. Um, this will be the week two recap and week three preview. So, well, this will be the week two recap. Um, uh, geez, oh, geez. I don't even know where to begin. Northern Iowa, South Dakota State was a top five matchup. Very great matchup. Honestly, this is what top five matchups are supposed to be. What a great game it was. You know, it came down to the wire. Both teams played very well. As far as the defending champs, North Dakota State go, they did well on defense. Leaned on that ground game. Didn't have Zeb Nolan, the new quarterback. Uh, do too much and only threw for what 74 yards and then Youngstown State over here only had a quarterback that was like what one for nine four for nine or something like that it was awful out there Youngstown State couldn't get anything going on offense and they couldn't get any they couldn't really stop North Dakota State's run game you know they had y'all know how North Dakota State runs things they run they run a smash mouth type offense that's what they've been doing for years that's what I've watched for years and they just continue to dominate. It doesn't matter if it's the spring or the fall. North Dakota State getting W's. And that is what they do best. Third thing. Tarleton State. Last week we know they lost to McNeese. But then they pull a big surprise on New Mexico State. Beating them up. Transitional FCS team. Beating up on you know New Mexico State. Yeah New Mexico State. Had some COVID issues, but that does not excuse this beating that they got. 43 to 17, I believe the score was. A beating, a, dest a destructive type of game, a travesty out on the field. Absolutely disgusting. What a terrible performance. And I believe there's one more thing to come. Oh, yeah, Dion! Dion! Dion Sanders debuted! Yeah! Yeah, 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 against Edward Waters, a NAIA school. I always get the words and the the, the, um, the letters mixed up. But yeah, uh, that's not even the most important thing here yet. You know, Jackson State won 53 to nothing. But the more, <laughs> the more silly things, you know, they 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 just they just continue to happen. It really continues to keep blowing, you know, by the silly things that happen with the swag. You know, it often gets overlooked by a lot of people, but you know, getting Dion's wallets getting stolen is just absolutely hilarious to me. Like it's absolutely hilarious. I know you don't I know you don't want to wish, you know, nobody any harm or anything like that. But it's just absolutely hilarious, you know, that his that his stuff got stolen, and then it's like, you know, later it's later they came out with another press release. They were like, later, oh well, this stuff wasn't actually stolen. It was just put in the locker for safekeeping or something like that. I call bullshit on that. I call I call it a lie. It's stupid. It got stolen. I guarantee you, his wallet and stuff got stolen. That's how the swag likes to cover things up. You know, because, you know, nobody wants to be held accountable for anything. You know, but whatever. Whatever. It's whatever at this point. Uh, I'll, I'll just, just, whatever, man. Whatever. But, yeah. Yeah, that'll pretty much do it. You know? Um, I know I said it was going to be week three, but we're, we're going to talk about week three in a, in a few hours. Probably tomorrow. You know, it might be today. It might be tomorrow when I talk about week three. But don't even worry about what I said at the beginning. But yeah, that'll pretty much do it here. Y'all take care. Have a good rest of your Tuesday. And, you know, stay safe out there.